Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how I create wallet size photos. I use a um, 4x6 background. A wallet size is 3x4, so that uh, if you get two pictures on a 4x6, that works out pretty good. In Photoshop, I do a Control N as a new, and go to Photo and select a 4x6, 300 dots per inch picture. I like to have a, a white background. Then I'll open my photograph that I want to work in there with a control O for open and we'll take this one and you'll want to crop that to a uh, 3 by 4 so go to the crop tool make sure you change this 3 inches by 4 inches and I think I'll crop this down just a little bit like that right there maybe say so that's okay then go, I'm in the layers function, do a control J, J as in John, and that'll duplicate that letter, that layer, and you can see it's already selected. So I'll do a control C, C as in copy. Now that's on the clipboard. Go back to the original and get out of the um, crop tool and do a control V as in Victor for paste. And there you go. Now I'll go to the Move tool. I'm going to hold down the Shift key while I slide it to the left. And that'll keep it from going up and down vertically. So we've got that one there. Now I'll do an open another one. We'll open this one. And again we'll crop it. That's pretty good just the way it is. So I'll click here, click the check mark for OK, do a Control J to duplicate it, do a Control C to copy it, go back to the original, and paste it, hold down the, um, go to the Move tool, hold down the Shift key, and slide it over to the right. And so now, all I have to do is print that, and I'll have wallet size. By the way, if I wanted to duplicate, say, the one on the left, maybe make quite a few prints, let's go ahead and remove this layer here. Move tool, when you hold down the Alt key and, and, and slide it, it duplicates it, see? And then you, you can make duplicate prints like that. You'll have to do some tweaking and get it just right because when you go to the print function with control P, make sure you've got it set to scale to fit media. And you'll have some white around there that you'll have to trim off with your trimmer. That's the way I do it. So long and thanks for listening.